Good morning and welcome to a video on the twisted double crochet. This little swatch that I have in my hand was made by starting each new row with a chain 3. And that is what most patterns will call for when you work with double crochet like this one. Um, you will see there's a substantial hole here and over there and again here. And that is because of the chain 3. Other than the fact that it makes it um, look bad, uneven, it is also difficult for newbies to find out where they should insert their hook when they come to the last stitch of the row. Now most patterns will tell you to insert your hook into the chain space of the third chain and that is where this little stitch is anchored. So there's a little hole there and there's a hole there. Now I've taken this technique and I've changed it completely. You will never see a chain 3 in my patterns. Most of the times I work with the twisted double crochet. Now this is what happens. You've reached the end of the row now and you're going to turn around and I want you to turn like you're flipping a page to the left. That is so that this working yarn is automatically at the back. Good morning parrot. If you turn the other way like that you will see that this yarn is automatically in the front and it's going to be in the way. So change it and move it over, turn the other way so that it's automatically at the back. Now regardless of your normal way you hold your hook, for this stitch you will have to hold your hook in the pencil grip because you're going to need your finger here at the top. So I extend my loop approximately the length or the height of a double crochet row. So you will see that this loop here is more or less the same size as that whole row there. And I need you to place your finger on top of the stitch and hold it. You're going to push it down tight onto the hook. Now how do you make a double crochet? Yarn over, fetch, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. We're going to do exactly that but instead of a yarn over with my working yarn which is on my finger, I'm going to yarn over the first time with the legs of the stitch. So watch, yarn over with the legs and now go through the first stitch and fetch and that is what you have. I am still holding the stitch, yarn over through two, now I can let go, yarn over through two. So what you have is a perfect double crochet with a very nice V to work your next stitch into when you come down on the end of the next row. In the beginning I say to people put a stitch marker into that V and I will show you why just now. But let's make it again first. I'm going to reverse. I got to the end of my row. I flip it over like a page. Hold the stitch. Extend it to the length of the long uh, um, a double crochet row and hold the stitch. Yarn over with the stitch, go through the first stitch to fetch, yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. There you go. Now you can put a stitch marker in there if you really want, because what happens is if you work this stitch, oops, where's my stitch marker now? If you work this row, the, the V of the stitch will fall slightly to the back. So in the beginning your eyes might be looking for the stitch and you can't find it. So for the first couple of times, put a stitch marker through the V as soon as you've made it. What happens if I should slip? Let me show you. If I accidentally let the stitch slip and I don't hold it tight enough, let's start again. Yarn over with the legs of the stitch. Go through the first stitch and fetch and accidentally you let it slip. So now you're stuck with that. All you're going to do is yarn over through the first one and behind that little twisted thing and yarn over through two. It's not a train smash. There's your twisted double crochet. This is what I use in all my patterns when I start a new double crochet row. It's the twisted double crochet. I also use it when I do wacky weave. It is um, a TDC in the back or a TDC in the front. 
it's basically just the same thing. You're just going to insert your hook from the back or from the front like you do with the other wacky weave patterns. This is the first video in a series of four um, regarding neat edges. You will see that this is much neater than that. It's because there's no hole. This one looks much better. I'll make the second stitch for you so that you can see. Let's make another one. No hole. Perfect. Twist the double crochet. After today it will be a sin if you start a row with a chain three when you're doing double crochets. Okay, but what happens if you now want to start using it from the beginning? Let's say you want to do ten um, double crochets in your first row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You are going to crochet only one extra chain. Only one. And you're going to do your twisted double crochet in the second chain from the hook. You can't do it in the first one. You've got to do it in the second one. Exactly the same. Hold the stitch, yarn over through the second chain and fetch, yarn over through two, and yarn over through two. That first chain that sits there counts for nothing. Let me show you what it looks like if I make one or two more. much neater than when you try to start with the chain three. I hope this helps you.